Do we have any community members in or near the affected areas? If you're comfortable sharing. Antichrist the seventh, not to be confused with the sixth Antichrist. Did Another you know that the seventh Antichrist is the best one because he likes Kit Kats and needing rice? Sorry, that didn't make any sense. Okay, let's figure out where we're going. Oh, Jesus, I'm sorry, Colossal. Ruby, thank you for the 17 months. Another one. Another one. Uh, where do I want to go? Let's do this. Tara, thank you for the two Meg, months. You shouldn't miss the unique oh, okay. assassin recruit missions. They are usually located near the dens. Okay, nice. I've done two so far. I'm pretty sure. Can you stop? Like, I don't know why you're antagonizing me. I literally didn't do anything to you. Oh. <gasps> I'm so sorry, hum. Well, we are with you. If there's anything we can do, let us know. Um, I'm so sorry that you have to go through this and watch your country go through this. Can't imagine. I've never experienced an earthquake before. This is a very scary concept. Hi, McMaples. Didn't do anything. I haven't done anything wrong in my entire life. I just want to say that. <laughs> nothing. Absolutely nothing wrong. Ezio did nothing wrong. I gotta get Caleb. I've tried to donate twice, but it didn't work. Hey, Caleb. Can you donate to the foundation for me? Oh, fire. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's, it's the Romanis. Huh? Yeah, can you donate to the charity? It won't let me. It's on the chat, at the top of the chat. How do I get over there? How do I get over there? Oh, it's far. Okay, sorry. Ouch, Mr. J. Hopefully it wasn't the Bible or something. Oh my god, guys, I started the stand by Stephen King. If anyone missed it, I am reading my first ever Stephen King book. I'm a hundred pages in, and I can't believe I waited this long. I can't believe it. I'm really loving it. Get back to me after you finish it. Okay. Well, I got... 900 more pages to go, but I can. Wow! <laughs> yes, Caleb! Thank you! <laughs> wow! Thank you for the $55 donation, Shmelo. 55. Oh, I finally started reading the Bible. <laughs> Caleb was telling me, though, here. Christians, Christians, hear me out. 
I like you. Because Caleb was telling me about where his name came from. And Caleb was a spy in that story. And I kind of liked that story. It's in numbers. Um, and he basically like led this. I don't I don't remember, but he was very brave. Anyways, thanks, Caleb. We got us to a hundred dollars. Yay. That is, it's small, but it's weird. Caleb is spy. Oh, I really want to read The Shining. I really want to read The Shining. And I want to read Carrie. Something that I love about Stephen King is he writes very violent women. <laughs> and like, they're terrifying. <laughs> But I feel like he's just been through so much shit and he knows how to write it and cope with it. So it's like the stand is actually so disturbing because it's very similar to COVID. It starts with like a little cough, but it doesn't feel triggering. And I was in New York City when COVID came out. <laughs> when COVID came out of the closet, came out as queer. Um, but it was traumatizing, literally. And I feel like he writes these horrifying things in a way that like allows him and us to process. So if you haven't read The Stand like again after COVID, I feel like you should. Oh, I watched Misery. I haven't read it. But yeah, that's a that's a violent woman, huh? Hi, Burke. Hey, I'm doing well. How are you? I don't know Captain Trips yet. Surprisingly, Caleb was saying stuff like that as well, and I'm like, I don't know who that is yet. Under pages in. For me, it was just kind of like, you know, I heard Stephen King, Stephen King, but it just felt like it was too late for me to read it because I'm 28. So I was like, oh, it's, it's like too late. I, sh I would have read it by now. Oh, fuck, seriously. I don't know where he is. Okay, I messed this up. Kill the coward. Wait, wait, wait. Is that him? Over there? I think I see him. They're gonna get me. They're gonna get me. They're gonna get me. They're gonna shoot me. <laughs> Unifags! Thank you for gifting us up to Hee. Thank you. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Sorry, I don't want to scream. I should not scream. Bye, frog. Of course. It's the least we can do. Sage, thank you for the $5. Sub-Zero, that's very sweet. Now all you need is, a, is Shin to come in, your favorite mod. You know? And then... It's gonna be great. The idea... I remember learning about, like... Earth. Oh. 
Don't talk about science, Megan, when there are stalkers around. Jeez Louise. It's terrifying. Okay, so I'm sorry, but I wanted to be a girl. I wanted to be a girl. <laughs> the flat earther tried to kill you after you talked about science. Hmm. Um, let's build the bank. Hopefully I can because I should have money to withdraw. One can hope. Hi, Tan. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. Pacific Northwest, but I'm not sure I could anymore. I I would be traumatized. I, I don't even know how I'd react. And also, it, like, makes my heart break for the animals as well. Who don't really don't know what's going on. It's just, it's just devastating. And I wish governments would do more. Like there are some streamers. Hassan has raised more money than some, than like governments who definitely have the money and are able to help out more. Hassan has done more, has raised more money than them like oh okay hi Shao. how you doing how you doing wait i made the bank did i withdraw do i have any money to withdraw let's see nope well then I'm really poor. Okay, let's see. Christina memory? Oh, let's do this. Y'all are really warming my heart. I was feeling very low about everything. It's really easy to just like fall into that, the news cycle and just get depressed. But you have very, you really lifted my spirits and I'm not even a victim. So thank you for being your lovely selves. I won't cry. Hi, Winter. How you doing? Oh. You there. You have the bearing of a man who thinks rather highly of himself. But I find you a rather pathetic specimen. What do you have to say about that, Alchuk? The brawler. Oh, show him the meaning of the word humiliation so he's going to become an assassin. If I had a message for you, amigo, I would give it to your mother. Ooh! How dare you? We settle this now. Stay down and do not pester anyone again. My man just throwing dust me if I was fighting. Place attack! 
you serious? I can't get out. Oh, God. Oh. You fell for my rules. No. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> the trap keeps on kicking him. Do <laughs> not embarrass yourself, bud. <laughs> okay, seriously. I am the cudgel of Costa You know that enough. <laughs> Call it a draw, all right? You are quite a fighter. As are you, if a little reckless. How would you like to put those fists to better use with the assassin? It was a trap. You mean trap guard? Fight for a cause, and not only for amusement. <laughs> yeah. I am sure you would still find some joy in it. Evet, I believe you offend him. All right. Okay, I really love him, actually. He's kind of awesome, I have to say. Hi, Alyssa. Not much. We just uh, liberated a den and got an assassin. Oh, okay. Um, wait, no mask, please. Hood looks okay. She's cute. Okay. Let's see. Um, it's just the donate at the top of the chat. There should be some other options, but it's through Twitch. So if you see um, the donate button, I see it at the top of my chat. Oh, I have to pay. Assassin's Hunt. No, Roto, thank you for the six months. I literally didn't even know that. Okay, wait. There we go. I have to be careful with how much money I'm spending on that. Thank you, Naruto. Now I want to... Um... Hmm. Where are the memories? <laughs> Oh, here. Okay, let's do this. Let's get the book. Um, I think on mobile. Let me go to my stream. It's a little confusing on mobile. I run this neighborhood now. If you don't like it, you'll have to face the pacha of punches. Sorry, one second. I think I have to activate the integration on, on the phone because it should be as like a little button in the bottom right corner. And right now it's top clip. We don't want the top clip. No. 
I live for the applause, applause, applause. I live for the applause, applause. Live for the applause, applause. No, it's not there. So what am I supposed to do? No button on the phone. Twitch charity phone. It's like how to donate bit. Oh, yeah, maybe. Um, that's a good point, Janess. <laughs> I actually don't even know what the link would be. What the frick? Um. Hi, Egger. How you doing? Good to see you. Stream elements, right? But that's not even the correct link. Like, I, it's kind of weird to me that there's not even a link. Maybe if you go to my profile? Let me see. That's so weird that it wouldn't be. Let me see. That's no, so no, weird. no, 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 no. I don't want to hear myself. There's no charity on the phone. Go to the chat. Gift a sub. What the hell? Well, also what we can do is if you donate through my PayPal, I can pass it forward. That's so upsetting. That makes perfect sense and you just take care of yourself. <sighs> Sorry, I'm upset that like it wouldn't work for mobile. This is the first time that I'm using um, Twitch charity and it just seems kind of ridiculous that it wouldn't work for, mo for mobile. Damn it. Come on now. I live for the applause, applause, applause. I live for the applause, applause. Live for the applause, applause. It is in beta, I believe, so. Oh, well. If you want to donate it through me, I can pass it along. But also, no pressure. I had to log into the PC. I'm so sorry. Let's not use Twitch charity anymore. <laughs> use, we'll just stick to Tiltify. Hi, Tech. Um, not much. We didn't do any main missions. I shouldn't have paused. I need to stop pausing when I do stuff because I need to gather that wealth. Please can I have money. Please can I have money. No! I will see you later. No 
looks like another dull one, huh, boys? Why don't we go bother the money? Oh, if you don't pause, you'll get mugged. That's true. That's very true. I remember I was so rich just a few days ago. I don't think I can. Oh, I can. Nice. Hit a book near the Valens Aqueduct containing clues to a Massif Keys location. Yes, Fable. It is. That's the plan. I think I'll like all of them. As long as I have people to like hang out with me, even if I dislike one, I think it'll still be fun. And form my own opinions. Because so far there hasn't been a game that people are like, it's terrible. Don't even waste your time. Oh, goodness, Perim. Wow. Do I have any? I don't. Yeah, but then some people like Unity. <laughs> I don't know. It's not that simple from what I've seen. I'm sure I won't like all of them. Just like I... The thing was I liked the uh, the concept of Captain Marvel. I just didn't... I couldn't... I, didn't, I don't know. I didn't like it as much as everything else. It was probably my least favorite Marvel movie so far. I love him looking at the books. Beautiful. Wow, misogyny. I know I was worried about that. I was worried people would be like, well, what do you have against Brie Larson? Nothing. I just don't know if she was suited for a Marvel movie. Bye. Why did she get hate though? I don't understand. Why did, why did people hate her? Why did guys hate her? because she's like a pretty blonde woman and um wanda and scarlett johansson exist so why did they hate brie larson like how is that misogynistic She got hate for saying that she didn't care about old white men reviewers when the film is meant for young girls. Oh, interesting. That's interesting. I mean, I'll shut my mouth. No, I don't think that her acting was that good, is the thing. <laughs> and she's won an Oscar, right? Or at least been nominated. She's a good actress, but it she was way overacting in that movie. Way. And it's it's a Marvel movie. It just seemed like she wasn't suited for it. And it's not that I don't like her, it's just the movie itself. Like, she, her acting was really weird. 
I haven't seen the room, but um, I've seen you name the United States of Tara. I have no doubt that she's a good actress, but there are good actors that can um, fail in a movie. Even Tom Holland admitted that in Uncharted. He was like, I got way too obsessed with just like what I looked like and being a leading man. And I think my acting suffered because of that. And I think that there's a lot more validity to just admitting that instead of being like, I don't care about, well, I don't know. The reviews are weird, so I won't comment on what she said. I did not see her in 21 Jump Street. Well, also, like, I know it's hard. I know everything's in front of a, a green screen, but it felt like it wasn't her type of humor. Like, she was trying to almost copy the humor from the previous ones. It could have been the direction as well. Um, but it just wasn't funny. Like, she, it felt like she was trying really hard. And I get it. It's tough because... <laughs> um, that kind of humor is... It's tricky. And it made me appreciate the previous actors. But I feel like she was trying really hard. And it bothers me a bit because I feel like the 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 men who are really loudly misogynist squish down the people who have valid criticism. And then she can just say, well, what everyone's misogynistic. Another key? And it's like, Lord no, Sun we have valid criticism. <laughs> ah, I don't really care about the Liz Olsen either. Similar door. And how did they open that door? They it's did. Shit. The earthquake did. I don't We have a few barrels of gunpowder. This should do. And if it does not, we get more. Gabriel! The assassins! Go! Go! I heard Scarlet Witch was supposed to be Romani. She uses the G slur! I knew something was up with that. Why? Why did they cast? A very, very white woman. What the hell? Lizio spread some love, eh? Megmidge, love, Megmidge, love, Megmidge, Geralt. Oh, Chronically Clementine, thank you so much for the four months. And Vixen, thank you for the two months. I'm sorry I missed that ten minutes ago. <gasps> Graham Norton corrected her? Oh my god, all I see... Can we all just, like, acknowledge that... <laughs> The people with, like, a Marvel profile picture on Twitter are the worst kinds of people. Like, for example, the the Liz Olsen stands on Twitter who are just obsessed with her and have her as the profile picture. Those are the worst people. Those are the worst people. Especially if it's Liz Olsen. Yeah, Gabby, and it actually popped up in this. Um, unfortunately, they did use... The slur in the description, which really sucks. Okay, let's do this. Sorry, you I'm gonna focus. Here alive. But otherwise, I feel like it's a pretty darn good depiction in talking about oh the struggles they faced. I love old man Antia stuff. You will not leave here alive! <laughs> the thing that bothered me the most about Captain Marvel Show yourself. was that her hair was He's literally dead. perfect after being in space. <gasps> Oh, 
The music. Competihame! No, no. He is here somewhere. Y'all can blame the effects for me caring about the hair though and voices because I'm absolutely like spoiled by the expanse Assassin! and how realistic space is but I'm like you can't <laughs> can't you make it a little bit more realistic for space just a little bit more her hair would not keep the curls the entire time oh shit fuck sorry Okay, no, Mr. J, don't even fight me on this. Her curls would not stay. Ignore, ignore space. Her hair would no, not no. be like that. She okay. Is here somewhere. Those are that's a that uses a curling iron. It would not stay like that. As someone who has curled her hair for over a decade, even if you're ignoring Assassin! space. And the reason why I'm spoiled by the expanse is because they they have messy hair. And I love it. It means a lot to me as a woman when it's He's realistic. The minimal makeup. Show yourself. Emotional support comb. <laughs> We Literally, have my bangs get messed up. Stand back. Give me some Playing home. video games. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> this is so cool. He's behind us! This is so fun. Stay safe, Yig. I'm so sorry this is happening to you. No need to thank me at all. It's the least that I can do. I'm sending so much love. Okay, that was my favorite parkour in the series so far. That was so good. Hi, Fanny. 
Yeah, I'm also just kidding about the hair. It's not that big of a deal for me. It, I mean, it is, but I recognize how ridiculous that is that I get so mad about that. But um, a huge reason why I love The Expanse is because, for example, Athena's character is so, like, her hair is always in a legitimate messy bun. And I liked, I think Black Widow got better with it because uh, their hair was in braids. And you can make it pretty with the braids and stuff, but, like, that side part with the perfect curls, you know? Even we're sitting at our comfort, it can do nothing but donate and buy stuff for people. Yeah. It's awful. It's awful. I'm sorry, Prim. We're, we're wishing you luck. You got this. Oh, no, this is fine. Oh, I like that Unifex. I'll have to I'll have to check that out. Oh, here they are. Hi, Gabby. So I think we're half way through with the Masyaf keys. Absolutely no need to thank me, Hum. It's truly the least I can do. Thank you. Thank you for being here and smiling with us. I'm so glad we get to experience Istanbul through a video game. And this will live on, you know, this game. Janess, you're such a sweetheart. A sweet tart. That's what I call Yuna, a sweet tart, because she's not. She's not only sweet, she's sweet. Oh. And tart. She's sweet. Like, she has a tartness to her. She's sassy. She's a sassy little thing. My Tina? She's not here. Escape, Tom, thank you for the five dollar donation. I appreciate it. Okay, that citizen is dying. I'm not gonna reach them in time. <laughs> sorry, I thought. Sorry. Sorry. Also rip out your nails and not alone, Arkadashim, and you need not be afraid. Let me repay Agreed. your kindness um. with action, assassin. If you would have me, I will join your cause. Boomy is a Sour Patch Kid for sure. The love in this chat. Can you feel the love in this chat? This chat. Everyone is nice to each other. 
They had a bad day, but they lived one another up to the stars in the skies. Can you feel? Sorry. Boo! 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 <laughs> Not the lion fucking song. <laughs> hey. Has he lost his mind? I'm not a furry. But. <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna stop myself right there. I'm gonna stop myself right there. I'm, I'm not gonna continue on. No one should say, I'm not a furry, but. <laughs> least furry furry person and ever but <laughs> if you didn't have your sexual awakening when baby simba grew up to adult simba then i can't be friends with you <laughs> it's in the voice it's in the voice it's in the voice Come on, it's in the voice. <laughs> I'm the least furry furry. Yeah, and the opposite for Nala. Or both. <laughs> You're queer. Like me. Any whore. <laughs> I would pass out in a fursuit. I really would. Okay, I really would. And I also grew up on warrior cats. I grew up on warrior cats, so everyone has a little bit of furry in them. Who's a whore? <laughs> Hi, Shin. How you doing? <laughs> Bugs Bunny dressed as a girl rabbit, anyone? Yes. The fox in um, Robin Hood, right? It's only natural. It's only natural. I feel like the waters get murky when you get into the category of somewhat anthropomorphized cartoon animals. Exactly. Especially as kids. Especially as kids. Yes, Elions, and, the, and there's nothing wrong with that as long as they aren't harming anyone. Who are we to judge? Who are we to judge? Certainly not me. I'm reading books about <laughs> monster f wording. Sorry, guys. This is too much information. <laughs> well, I grew up on Twilight, okay? A furry says thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, I would pass out in a fursuit. I don't know how people do it. There's a lot of like cool art and stuff too. But there also is, I watched a documentary about how there is quite a bit of um, like abuse that goes on within the furry community. So there's that as well. But, furry butt, <laughs> on a case by case basis, it ain't no thing. It ain't no thing. Oh, Lola Bunny is so hot. So hot. They knew what they were doing with that. Um, oh, I can't wait to buy the Grand Bazaar. Should I do this or should I do the memory memory? Pineapple. Um, I guess let's just, let's just go to the thing. The book? Okay. I don't have, I ran out of parachutes and I didn't realize. That was never good. Yeah, I'm going to go here, do this book memory, and then I'm going to... I have to assign the master assassins, at least one of them. 
I don't even know if there's a memory memory. I thought there was. It could be this. <laughs> I know, I know. I know. I thought I had parachutes, but I don't. I'll buy more. That the tailor, right? There are memories and then there are memory memories. Sorry. Oh, I see the memory memory. Hi, Julio, by the way. Please leave me alone. Please. Oh, my God. Assassin's Creed, but you're at a furry convention. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Maybe you have to wear the disguise. Only the height of that. <laughs> oh, I can't know. <laughs> Ezio's persona, I feel like it would be a wolf. It would be a wolf. Please give them money. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> a black fur wolf yes i'm done with this um die <laughs> i'm gonna use literally every die ever <laughs> Giving is the greatest reward, so they say. Uh. <laughs> I don't want to. Someone's going to clip that out of context. <laughs> no, thank you. Let's do this one. Let's, let's finally do this one. Well, what I did in... Um... Oh, I love it. Oh, what I did in New York was I would give people like in the subway station and trains some like a granola bar because I usually would have a granola bar or snack of some kind. So that's what I did. Um, or like buy them a coffee if they were in McDonald's. And then some of them would be would just be like, oh and walk away and be like, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh yeah, the followers of Romulus. I almost forgot, Edward. Do it. You need my help. <laughs> I wanted Mr. Al Kohal. Yeah. That's, that's how you can kind of tell. I know, you know, I would also give money. It depends on your intuition and all of those people are struggling, but most of the time I would have like a snack. Hood off. Oh, beautiful. Oh, no. That's right. Uh, put your mask on, please. Yeah. The men, I'm like, don't show your face. Sorry. Oh, beautiful. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Don't act surprised, chat. This is how I act. Oh, 
This is nothing new to you. I'm so sorry, Cole. I hope you and your loved ones are okay. Sorry, I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> I can't sneeze! Sorry. a beggar. Here we go. <laughs> Just kidding. I try to look at light because that makes me uh, sneeze, but it has to be a strong light, which I don't see the sun anywhere there. Guys, do you want to do like an overnight stream? <laughs> Sorry, that was random. We could try like a, like a... I take a nap and then we go like three to the morning. Yes. Okay, great. I was thinking that for February, like once a month we can have some kind of ridiculously long stream or a ridiculously timed stream a european morning so is that like 4 a.m for me i have i've heard of fable but i don't even know what it is caleb would join in on the sleepover perhaps <laughs> another time Perhaps another time. Sorry. I have all the books slash. I can't afford them. Um, I'm getting so distracted. I'm sorry. People loved Assassin's Creed 3. We must find and kill I love assassin. that. <laughs> What's it about? What's Fable about? <laughs> That's so cool, Diggity. I didn't know why. Fable 1 inspires the Witcher games. How how old is it? It's gotta be pretty old then. Why is it controversial? Glitches? All I know is that some people missed Ezio and so they didn't take well to Connor. But he sounds like my guide, like.
Oh, it's an Altair memory. 63! The Templars have retaken their archive on Cyprus. Abbas sent no reinforcements. It was a massacre. Oh my god. Maria. When Maria. we left Masyaf ten years ago, this order was strong. But all that progress has been undone. Abbas must answer for this. Answer to whom? The assassins obey only his command now. Resist your desire for revenge, Altair. Speak truth and they will see their error. He executed our youngest son, Maria. He deserves to die. Perhaps. But if you cannot win back the order by honorable means, its foundation will crumble. You are right. Thirty years ago, I let passion overtake my reason. And it caused a rift that has never fully healed. Speak reasonably. Sorry, I really want to read this. Since childhood, Maria had always dreamed of being a knight, a tomboy in her teens. She was often ridiculed by other children and punished by her parents for, for refusing to be a lady. Eventually, she left her native England for Jerusalem and after many hardships and trials, gained favor with a few prominent Templar crusaders. In time, she befriended the French Templar Robert de Sable in earning his trust and serving as his decoy in times of war. When the assassin Altair killed Robert in 1192, Maria was pushed out of the Order of Templars by their new leader, Armand. At this point, her hatred for Altair was limitless. <laughs> Until he managed to show her the true co corruption of the Templars through patient and careful counsel. In time, after traveling, studying, and working counsel, Altair and Maria became close friends then lovers. By 1193, Maria was as committed to Altair as he was to her. Having no good reasons to return to her homeland, she chose instead to remain at Masyaf and immerse herself in the life and creed of the assassins. By the time Maria and Altair had their first child in 1195, they were inseparable with their only prolonged separation occurring in 1204 during Altair's failed attempt to establish a guild in Constantinople. Oh. Oh, failed attempt to establish a guild in Constantinople. In 1217, now approaching 68 years old, Maria joined her husband and her oldest son, Darim, on a long journey east after Altair had determined the threat of encroaching Mongols was too large to ignore. Absent from Masia for over 10 years, the couple grew closer still, their lives entwined and their hearts aching for home. And reasonable men will listen. Some will, but not Abbas. I should have expelled him 30 years ago when he tried to steal the apple. I agree, but I was thinking that. But you earn the respect of the other assassins because you let him stay. How do you know mm. this? You were not there. I married a masterful storyteller. Uh-huh. Look at this place. Masyaf is a shadow of its former self. We have been away for a long time. I kind time. of miss... But not in hiding. The Mongol threat Bloodlines. demanded our attention and we Maria. rode to meet it. She looks What weird. man here can say the same? Where is our eldest son? Does Darim know his brother is dead? I sent him a message four days ago. With luck, it has reached him already. Abbas, I almost pity him. He wears his grudge like a cloak. His wound is deep. It will help him to hear the truth. As I walk these streets, I sense a great fear in the people. Not love. Abbas has dismantled this place and robbed it of all joy. We may be walking to our doom, Maria. We may, but we walk together.
I just, I don't understand why he killed their son. That's King Beavis. Let them oh, speak. Sorry. It's a long for we me. We seek the truth about our son's death. Why was Seth killed? Is it the truth you want? Or an excuse for revenge? Truth. If the truth gives us an excuse, we will act on it. Surrender the apple, Altair, and I will tell you why your son was put to death. Ah, the truth is out already. Abbas wants the apple for himself, not to open your minds, but to control them. You have held that artifact for 30 years, Altair. Reveling in its power and hoarding its secrets, it has corrupted you. No, it hasn't. Very well, Abbas. Take it. What? That's not my Maria. I Before do not I like her design. Son, I told him you ordered it yourself. He died, believing you had betrayed him. Oh. My God. El Tayer. Do it. Do it. No. That's awful. <gasps> no. Strength. Altair. Maria. He is possessed. Kill him. Take the apple. No. weird what <laughs> what <laughs> <laughs> what is happening <laughs> oh i tried to loot her wait no <laughs> i'm sorry i'm sorry it's hard for me oh i'm trying to loot them Okay, I'm. <laughs> it's hard for me because that does not look like Maria at all from Assassin's Creed. I think it was two bloodlines. It really doesn't look like her. She was like darker skinned and dark hair and like, I don't know. Why did they do that? poorly like i get the hair getting lighter because of elderly gray hairs but skin as well getting lighter? poor altair i would have lost my shit by now he can have a, a reckless moment like come on i know he can't there's just way too much pressure on him I feel so bad for him. Oh my god, do we go out the... Yes. He wasn't it. Yeah. I just think every, it's sad because I do believe everyone's allowed a, a breakdown every once in a while where they lash out. Obviously, in real life, don't be violent, but it's okay to like kind of lose your mind. I'm a strong believer in that. Um, and, you know, say things that need to be said and break the silence, but there's just so much pressure on him to be perfect. And he's being so mistreated. Father, I got your message. Darim. What has happened? Darim, turn back. Have they all oh, gone mad? No. We have to go. Abbas must not get his hands on the apple. If you need more knives, take them. 
Above you. No, I'm sad. The sons of Altair and Maria Thorpe, born in 1195 and 1197, respectively. Both, both were raised as Altair was at Masyaf, trained to be assassins by their father and diplomats and men of honor by their mother. That's precious. But unlike Altair, who spent most of his early years separated from his father as part of Al Mu'alim's training, Darim and Seth grew up in a house full of affection and love. And that's really precious because we were just in the in the episode a couple episodes ago he was talking about his dad and how he wasn't he was talking to al Elim about his dad and how he didn't know him um i'll tell you though often stern was a patient father to a man determined to give his sons what al Elim had given him guidance and respect that's precious the fact that he can look at his mentor with nuance is really sweet because he doesn't just write him off as like a bad person. I just, I admire Altair because I don't think that I could have that much control. I know I couldn't. Seth married quite young and after his untimely death, his family moved to Alexandria at some point in the first half of the 13th century. It is unknown whether or not Darim had any offspring of his own, but we do know he eventually joined his brother's widow and children in Egypt. Aww. Where is mother? Oh. She's gone, Daddy. Ahead of sorry. Us. Oh shit, I just killed a civilian. Stop oh. me. Later. First, we fight. This way. Brothers, we need not fight. Forget reason, Darim. They've been poisoned by lies. Oh. He's that's cute that he's so patient though. Like, oh, we don't need we don't need to be violent. <laughs> it's like Maria. We must leave at once. Watch out! Wait! Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, he we went down? <laughs> he went... Wait, what? <laughs> Sir, Hurry! can you choose where you're going? <laughs> Stop! Watch out! Bro! <laughs> I don't understand! Like, it's, it's locking me onto that, but I can't even... <sighs> We must leave at once. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Hurry. <laughs> what is this? What Watch is out. <laughs> no, 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 no. Where? Oh. <laughs> Jesus. No, I No. <laughs> we cannot let them catch us. I can't. <laughs> I can't. I can't. <laughs> my son is such Was a dork. Was it Abbas who killed my brother? <laughs> he killed your brother, Malik, and countless others. He is a madman. A Mali. A madman with an army. He will die. What are you doing, dude? One day you will pay. <laughs> what are you looking at? Stop. No, okay. This is nonsense. 
I can't. Stop. <laughs> Are you okay? Okay. Follow me. My son is an absolute goober. <laughs> Why are we going in circles? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> what? Stella. to go was it the boss who killed my brother i will have the apple altair and i will have your head for all the dishonor he brought upon my family you cannot run forever not from us and not from your lies altair saved abbas Darim giving major middle child energy. I'm a middle child, so yes, I can confirm. Through anger and betrayal, Altair lost those closest to him. And yet he carried on. I have never felt pain so severe. Perhaps because my heart is too hard to risk the joys of real love. It's not too late. It's not too late, buddy. It's not too late. It's never too late. You got this, buddy. He has, um, but I think there's something about I think he's acknowledging that without like a, a love of his life and a child like there's there's a special kind of pain for losing your life partner and your kid that he doesn't understand and i think it's really mature of him to say that that he has been he's been closing his heart off and not letting himself get too invested because of christina um, and it's not to like lessen his loss, but I do think it's precious that he admitted that. Hi, Peachy, how you doing? Yeah, Rogue, it's, it's something. This, this white beautiful one year six months holy crap perhaps later um oh i thought i saw something glowing Thank you for gifting us up to Peachy. That's so sweet. How much Drexel? Thank you for the ten dollars. I really appreciate that. Why do I have to give them my money? Can someone just tell me why? Hey. 
Hey, voices. I'll try that next. Tell me why he ain't nothing but a heartache. Tell me why he... <laughs> That's beautiful. Ain't nothing but a mistake. Tell me why I never want to hear you say. Oh, no need to apologize, Janess. I... It's true. It's it's like I feel bad for him, for sure. And I think it's it definitely is him being like kind of squashing down his his tragedy when everything is like pretty much grief is all very similar. I mean, he's definitely got some processing to do to acknowledge how much he's been through. Hi, Itachi! I want it that way. Uh, probably Caleb. Caleb is the longest follower of Meg Mage. Caleb watched me when no one else did. That's the thing with these newer streamers. They're like, no one, no one watches me. It's like, you know, I streamed for two months and never had more than like four viewers. But Caleb was always there. And I just, he would like stay in the room with me <clears throat> and um, play games. And so it, it was easier to like talk and stream because it was like I was talking to him, even if he wasn't listening. He is a real one. good husband moment. He wasn't even my husband. He was my boyfriend. But yes. What's this? A memoir? Oh! That's cool. <sighs> who's, who's breakthrough moment? Um, it was when I played The Last of Us 1. And I met some people that are still in the community from that game because I was like, I had five, six concurrent viewers. And then I played that for the first time. And there are a few people that watched me that watched the entire playthrough. And I started building a community. Oh, that's weird, Rogue. I mean, everyone's different, but I liked Caleb there because <laughs> it felt like I was talking to him through the game, which is what we do. We basically, Caleb will like live stream to me whatever game he's playing. <laughs> Little bit higher. Right? Such a good song. Is there a race or something? Is there a race or something? Well, that's definitely our patient. I mean, streaming and vlogging is definitely an acquired skill that I can understand people will get very uncomfortable with. <clears throat> Especially vlogging for me. I I the amount, I think. But the money stayed with me until I have seen the cargo for myself. And the say that's quality. Understood. You are a shrewd man, Manuel. Trust without cynicism is hollow. The count is good, Tarek. It's all here. So what now? You will have access to the arsenal. When you are satisfied. The cargo will be delivered to a location of your choosing. Are your men prepared to travel? Not a problem. Polikala. I will have a map drawn Polikala. up for you in the week.
He, I love all the outfits in this game. Are we here for the same reason? One of my men claims he saw a shipment of weapons enter the arsenal. So I got curious. Weapons? I would like to see them for myself. And short of killing everyone, I'm not sure how you will get inside. You Leave have been warned twice. No merchants near the arsenal wall. Take this away. Hypocrites! If your men did not buy my produce, I would not sell it here! You are worse than the Byzantines, you traitor! Ah! Oh. Hold your tongue, hey. parasite! Even in times of peace, the poor are always under siege. Hmm. If we inspire them to vent their anger, <laughs> perhaps that will help our oh. cause. Oh, <laughs> Ezio is like, how can we benefit from this situation? But Yusuf, it's so true. Oh, make sure 40 or more rioters survive. Merchant revenge. Feigning solidarity to push your own agenda. Put the gentleman. <laughs> no? It is not pretty, I know. <laughs> okay. But it will work. That's good. Men and women are Men and women. The Janissaries are corrupted, good people. Oh, homosexual. I don't know why it's delayed. A citywide tribe. I have no idea why it's not working. The Janissaries collude against you. It's I see that it says 500 bits. I don't know why it's not working. Thank you for the 500 bits if the alert doesn't pop up. Thank you so much. That gate will not stay closed for long. The people are doing you a favor, Ezio. Return it and keep them safe from harm. For them, I hope this earthquake does not knock on our door for Istanbul too. We are afraid for Syria too. Pray for them, please. I will. I really will. I'm so sorry. I don't know why it didn't show up. Thank you, though. And I'm sending so much love to you. I'm trying! 
Okay, we need my gun. Time for the gun. Oh my god. Wow, I'm not doing a good job at all. Maybe I need to use bombs. From a zip line. I can do that. I can do that. Oh, sorry. I can't kill them. This is wild. Theodosius. Originally called the harbor of Eleutherios by the city's original Greek inhabitants, this was the largest of Constantinople's numerous parts. Augmented by Emperor Theodosius in the 4th century, it became a major port for the trading of agricultural goods, and later a military outpost. Not long after the Ottomans took over, the port was noted to have succumbed to a heavy amount of silting, and it was eventually closed off and built over. By the 17th century, it had all but disappeared. In the 21st century, workers excavating the site in preparation for a project discovered the remains of dozens of ancient Byzantine galleys sunk deep into the soil. Whoa! Wowza! What the hell? How do I... Oh no, sad. Okay, perfect. I do need to learn a little bit about Manuel. Born the year of Constantinople's fall to the Ottomans, Manuel Palaiologos, nephew of the fallen Byzantine Emperor Constantine XI, did not visit the city that might have been his until much later in life. As a boy, he was heavily influenced by the tales of his family's tragic fall from power and, with his brother Andreas, fostered early hopes of somehow reclaiming that glory. But this brotherly pact also fell to ruin. Andreas, a friend of Rodrigo Borgia, an acquaintance of the Ottoman Sultan's brother, Kem, living under house arrest in Italy, advocated a militaristic approach against the Ottomans to be led and commanded by the Templars. Manuel, on the other hand, preferred a subtler approach, less flashy, but more likely to succeed. At some point after 1485, Manuel, moved to Constantinople and immediately made his presence known to the Sultan, selling the rights of his throne to... What? To Pisa the second first healthy pension? He can do that? You can sell the rights to the throne? Jam? Okay, thank you, hum. He then joined the Ottoman Navy and converted to Islam. Thus, on the surface, he appeared the very model of a modern Ottoman, learned, curious, and proud of his adopted country. Andreas was, of course, furious at his brother, believing him to be a traitor. But of the two men, Manuel's scheme proved more viable. This is, this is sinister. This is, this is tricky, at least on the surface. By the late 1490s, Rodrigo's interest in helping the pala paleologists retake Constantinople had evaporated and Andreas had fallen deep into poverty eventually dying alone and penniless in the gutters of Rome sometime around 1502 but Manuel flourished he grew fat and satisfied off his pension and the income pouring in from various other dubious concerns 
By the time he was in his late 50s, he was one of the wealthiest people in the city. So did his wealth and success temper his plans for world domination? I'm going to guess no. And was he still bitter about the Ottoman occupation of his city? Most likely, yes. Yes, I am the, <laughs> I am the Sultan's brother. I am. <laughs> Ooh, an animus fragment. Sorry. Another uh, wait, how do I get this? He's stepping away. Maybe. You belong down below. I losing him. Hey, can you stop? Because I'm, I'm just trying to. No. I'm just trying to get this thing. No, I'm just. Because I'm just trying to get that. I'm, uh. Guys, I'm just I'm trying to get that You know what I mean? I'm just trying to get this Oh Uh Why is it in the middle of nowhere? Hi, London. Thank you for the 33 months. Thank you so much. <laughs> I think I need to do it later. Maybe once we occupy this territory. Twenty years in this city, living like a cipher. Finally, everything is falling into place. When the Baleo Logos line is restored, Manuel, do not forget who helped you bring it back. Back. Of course not, my friend. I would not dream of betraying a man of your influence, but you must be patient. Nova Roma wasn't built in a day. <laughs> Rome wasn't I'm built in a day. Take me to my ship. And that's the origin of that. If a single thing. one is damaged, the money stays with me. When I go to Rome, I'm just gonna be like, yep, I bought that. Merda. Hope you have a great Climb time back. streaming. And remember, nothing is true oh and everything God. is permitted smiles. So true. Thank you so much, Gandalf, for the reminder and thank you for the two months. I appreciate you. How's your tattoo, London? Nothing is true. Everything is permitted, everyone. <sighs> Do Janess. Hey, Wolf. Nova Roma wasn't built in a day. Homosexual? No, you do not have to. You don't have to donate period it really helps just to have people in this stream um talking about it and cheering up you know everyone affected so please don't worry nice i'm so excited I'm going to download Duolingo for Italian. This is wild. The plot thickens. The thick plot ends. The thick imaginal. I thought it did. Sorry. 
forte te imagino. Imagino is my favorite. Imagino. I guess. Ciao. The plot chickens. How dare it? Sequence six. I appreciate you. Thank you. Italy is one of the best destinations for the hearing impaired because so much of Italian is communicated through body language. I love that. I love the vibes right here. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not a legal move. It is a European variation. Arocco. It's interesting, but not exactly fair when you play by different rules than your opponent. You may think differently when you are Sultan. Shall mm. I take it back? Suleiman, I know it has been hard on you watching your father and me quarrel over Bayezid's throne. Is it? Grandfather has chosen you, and his word is canon. What is there to argue about? Your father and I were close once, but his cruelty and ambition have made... I have heard the rumors, uncle. Well, I have a meeting with the vizier soon. Shall we continue another time? Whenever you like. Beautiful, beautiful clothing, I swear. Ezio. Tarek has been selling guns to a local miser, Manuel Paleo Logos. Paleo, Paleo Logos. That is a sad sound. It's also very hard to say. The last Byzantine emperor was Constantine Paleo Logos. If his heir is arming a militia of some kind, this conflict will escalate. Tarek knows where the rifles are headed. If I find him first, I can follow the weapons straight to the Byzantines. He will be with his Janissaries in their barracks. So if you want to get close, you will have to be one yourself. Not a problem. Guzel. Get the information you need. Then kill him. Oh, he's getting more ruthless. Are you sure? You told me Tarek and your father were close friends, Suleiman. Ooh. This is true, but such naked treason against my grandfather deserves death. My god. In Daisy. In Daisy. He should have said Imagino. It, he's so different from the kind of like wide eyed prince um, that we saw on the boat. And it's just crazy how politics and all that can shift you. Esio wants to interrogate Tariq for the location of the Templar army to get close to Tariq, acquire a Janissary disguise. Oh. Oh! Hey, Steph! No. I don't even use bombs. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care! <laughs> I don't use bombs. They disappoint me. I do get treasure, though. Yeah, I like how his um, his bio in the game says, like, he was not a pacifist. He might have looked a little kinder and, like, studious and stuff, but he was certainly not a pacifist. Um, but it's cool to see that shift from the beginning when we met him on the ship. It's just good, subtle writing. I didn't know that left. No bombs, only treasure. I 
I don't think I require medical assistance. It's hard to be a pacifist without having thrown at least one punch in life since fist is in the word itself. He was elite, he was clever, he loved art, he was just, but he was also the that sultan of an expansionist empire at the height of its power. So both sides of a coin type deal. Oh yeah, that's a great way to put it. And it's like we saw him before he rose into that kind of power. And then it's just subtly being shown. Cause even Essie was like, really? Really? Are you sure about that? And Ezio's... <laughs> he's killed a lot of people, but I, I like that he's like, are you sure? Draw some money yet? Do you have assassins <laughs> running all over your? Yeah. A fortune smile upon our continued business together. Thanks, Tech. <laughs> Armor I can buy. Yes! Prepared that shit for no reason. That's fine. Is that small? Without being detected. Okay. By other guards. Keep your hands where I can see them. I can do this. Oh, I hate that. That's so sad. The the castle was destroyed. Um, let's just call the assassins. Keep 
your hands where I can see them. Yeah, nice. Okay. <laughs> it wasn't me then a minute in the corner. It wasn't me in the then in the corner. It wasn't me. I didn't kill this Templar. She even got me in the showers. <laughs> Some of the random people in the crowd take public assassinations in stride. I mean, I probably would too. I'd probably be like, I'm not gonna, I won't snitch. Be careful, your disguise is not perfect. Perform an errand assassination. Oh my gosh, we're killing him. We're really doing it. Nice, Ezio. Selim understands our plight. The Byzantines, the Mamluks, the Safavid. Only he has the courage to face these threats. Mark, listen. Selim is a warrior, like Osman and Mehmet. So why has our Sultan chosen a cat over our life? Dark hiding, citizens of Constantinia. A Ahmed servant of our Sultan has fallen Sultan's at the hands temperament. of a criminal. They are been too much alike, I fear. Be on the lookout for any suspicious activity. Woe betide the murderer who Hak took the life Sin, of a beloved Hak genocide. That's none of my business. Of my whipped coffee. None of my business. Justice. You see something. Say something. Salam alaikum. Shame on you, oh, why did you do that? Why'd you push me? Shame. Go on, get out of peace, lad. Oh, no. <laughs> That's sad. You are not wanted here. Leave. Yes, the Claro. Yes, the Lord. Please don't let me leave. Get out of here. Respect to the glorious Jonathan. I don't want to beat up a civilian. Why does Ahmed linger in the city? He knows he's not wanted. I do it all the time. He's I'm like sorry. a moth hovering around an open flame, waiting for his father to perish so that he may step to the throne. Did you hear he offered Tarek a sum of money in exchange for our loyalty? God damn it! What did Tarek. Kardesh Larim! One of our own was found murdered and stripped of his garments not an hour ago. His body dumps like a mound of rubbish. Oh. Keep a close watch on these streets as you move about. Oh. Someone is planning to strike in our name. We must be ready. Have you met Selim's young son, Shehzade Suleiman? Not personally, but I have seen him. I know he is a remarkable boy. Not a boy. But a capable young man. Uh. With a magnificent mind. Does he take after his father? Belke. Though I suspect he is another sort of man altogether. Okay, so I might have to use a bomb. I might use a bomb. She's my cherry bomb. Shuba dooba 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 boo. She's my cherry bomb, sweet cherry bomb. Fuck. 
Wait, but I did the smoke screen. I found a way. No, 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 no. I won't stop. And we won't stop. And we won't stop. Yeah, wait, that's true. Why would a Janissary can throw a bomb? It's a little suspicious. Oh shit. Oh shit. Hi Red Daredevil. Um you, about a couple in. hours. I can't believe it's already been a couple hours playing this. I'm holding. What do you want? Drinking too much cafe. Definitely too much cafe. Drinking too much cafe. Me with my whipped coffee. Okay, thank God. Um, so he. There we go. Tarek, a message for you. Whipped cafe. Articulare. <laughs> the rifles have arrived in Cappadoce where Manuel has garrisoned his army. And our men, are they still with him? Go, Pepe. They will contact us when <laughs> the Byzantines decamp. Then we will meet them when they reach Bursa. Everything is falling into place, Effendim. Evet. For once. So it said air assassination. I'm gonna go this way, if I can. Hold it. Why? Pretty sweet. Uh, what a Thank you, Shen. Is this the result of Suleiman's investigation? You collude with the Sultan's enemies. What did you expect he would looks come beautiful. of such treachery? I blame myself, not for treason, but hubris. I was preparing an ambush. Oh no. Preparing to strike the Byzantine Templars where they felt safest. What oh, proof do no. you have of this? Uh, see, here. Shit. This will lead you to the Byzantines in Cappadocia. Destroy them if no. you can. You have done well, Tarek. Forgive me. Oh. Protect my homeland, assassin. Allah, Ashkila. Redeem the honor Damn it. we have lost. In this fight. Not like this. It was Ezio's intuition as well. I am getting tired of this uniform. Okay. 
I'm just gonna run. Okay. Let's go. No, stop. Oh, yeah. Broke the first tenant. What's the first tenant again? I would like to see you try. Complain to the boss if you don't like the friendly service. Potassium? <laughs> What's the first tenant? Never kid. He was an innocent. God damn it. <laughs> This is what happens when you meddle in the politics. I mean, wow, I didn't expect that. Freaking Prince Suleiman. So, what are we gonna do? Like, how are we gonna. Is he just young and ruthless and, and scared? Because that's just really upsetting. Like, but. It just doesn't seem right that we're following a prince's orders blindly. It seems a little off. I'm trying. It's hard though. They have guns and shit. Okay, seriously? Can I just get up? Can you just let me get you fuckers? Oh my god, how many of them are? Oh my god, an animus fragment. An ass fragment. There we go. I don't know if the Ottoman Brotherhood follows it, but I feel like Yusuf is gonna be is gonna feel guilty. And I'm not trying to um blame him or point fingers, but Damn. Water cloak, yeah. Wait, revenue deposit? It said zero made. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. What am I going to do? I'm so on alert. Ooh, the music, though. Sorry. I don't want to. Nice.
Hi, JVAT. Wait, there's no master assassin here? I need to change that. Oh, she is. Um, okay. So, pineapple. Feel free to give me your thoughts. What should I do? Oh, you know what? I kind of want to get this. Or wait, um... Let's get this viewpoint. Main story. Thank you for another $5 donation, homosexual. I'm, I'm irritated. I don't want to be constantly... God has abandoned you! I don't want to fight you guys. Stop that. with that. Done with the game? No way. What? What the hell? Oh, shush. Okay, it's still a point of no return. I see, I see, I see. I think. I think I get what you're saying. I'll avoid it. Glad to be of service. Thank you for the hydrate. This is very addicting, this game. Where is the treasure? I think it's up here. Do I not know you? Oh well, back to the round. Um What if I don't want to kill you guys all the time? This is a bold choice. Oh, Desmond's journey! Great news, everyone. We have another Desmond's journey. I have no idea. I don't know if I can. I haven't seen anything to lower my notoriety. Hmm. 
Roblox. Why did I earn ingredients? Oh, okay. Jesus. What is this? Fatih Kami, or Faith Mosque, was built by the Turks just after the conquest of Constantinople, and it was the first mosque of Ottoman origin in the city. As one amusing story goes, after Sultan Mehmet realized that the dome of Fatih Kami was built smaller than Hagia... Fuck, how do you say this again? Hagia? 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 Uh, he had the architect's hand cut off for lack of ambition. This the architect felt was unfair, and after his wound healed, he contacted a local member of the Ottoman judiciary for legal counsel. The judge surprisingly sided with the architect and ordered that the sultan's haya, okay, uh, arm be cut off in retribution. This did not happen, of course, but the very fact that the judge sided with a civilian over his sultan and was not reprimanded is noteworthy. Ooh. That's pretty interesting. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> what? Wait, where's the... Oh, <laughs> I went very high for no reason. It's a beautiful view, oh my god. Flying, flying in the sky. Okay. Now? I have to pick up some money, my allowance. So. I don't know where the book quest is. Oh, there it is. Okay, so let's go. Mm. Mm, I don't like being called mommy. Don't call me mommy. Let's set that boundary. Bye, Shrek. Hello, Faz. You can call me your excellency. Give me a break. Ha! You die now. I blame the parents. I blame the parents. Attack! 
Assassins, please. Oh my god, oh my god, what the fuck? just want to get this bank wait 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 which templar den no which templar den ugh Sorry, guys. I have to go protect my assassino. I have not had an opportunity to clear my notoriety. It's really strange. Like, it's weird. I haven't seen any heralds. I haven't seen any I things <laughs> one main and mission. so it came okay. to pass that she who was not called mommy was instead named queen of the uttermost depths Hell yeah. the scourge of templars lutius goblinus and mm -hmm. mog mm -hmm. all. yep hell yeah thank you unifex for the hundred bits it's part of the story thank you thanks for confirming because I'm usually all up on that shit. <laughs> Stop! I did not realize it was this far away. Sorry. It's true. That's very true. I would just like to do... No, 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 no. I just want to do this. No, stop. Stop. Oh, you're pissing me off. You are pissing me off. Now you die. In the novel version, it said that as Ezio's blade drained Tark's life, he became the most wanted man in his single. Well, that makes a lot of sense, actually. Yep, let's do it. I don't mind these war missions. So, um... <gasps> Whoa. So... I forgot what I was going to say. I completely forgot. Oh, do I do one main mission and then I my notoriety can go down? Hold there. Make your stand there. Secure that point. 
I need you to hold that point. How do I? Where are they coming? Okay, and then. I wonder if they should make their stand right there. It's a good question. much more around. Secure that point. Make your stand there. Make your stand there. Defend that area. Hold that point for me. Make your stand there.
assassinate. I don't care. Sorry. Where's my... Okay. Another. No, please. I get out of here. Hold that point. I need you to hold that point. No, no. What do I do? Like, they're oh, killing no. it. What do I do? Just don't let any more in? Well, that was close. It's over. <laughs> okay, great. Clutched. Captured a bag. Nice. That was, that was pretty close. But we did it. I feel like everything was going really well until that last part when they got in. I didn't know how to get them out. But good times. Oh, how was the Nintendo Direct? Yes. race oh that's cute the notoriety is gone wait how does that the work speed and strength of a 20 year old i try to keep healthy <laughs> then how about the race i could use a bit of exercise you begin and i will follow that's not really following honey but I'm too competitive. <laughs> that Templar is up to something. We should track him. I love these little bonding moments. So cute. Wait. Why? Oh, detected. I thought I was supposed to kill him. I thought I was supposed to kill him. What are y'all hoping for the for the Nintendo Direct? I'm very excited looking forward to Assassin's Creed 3. Thank you for saying hello live. The strange man. Come on, apprentice. How long is Assassin's Creed 3 compared to these games? Shao, calm down. I figured it out eventually. Oh, 
not let him escape. I have no idea what just happened. <laughs> I love this game. Oh! He was holding this mentor. It must oh, belong shit. to the disease he robbed. You take care of this body. I will return this document. Return the item to the owner. In the end, she actually won the race. Yeah. I'll let her have it. Ooh, I love that purple. I believe this belongs to you. Ah, you wow. have spared me much humiliation before the sublime part. Thank you, Effendim. And is that the young assassin who aided you today? Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye bye. Who's this? He gets his own. Hailing from Eastern Anatolia, Damant Ali Pasha was a well respected sublime court official and servant to Sultan Bayezid II, but in his later years, as the Sultan's ambitions for world conquest dwindled, Damat's loyalty all but evaporated, and he came to feel that the Templar philosophy was the only worldview capable of bringing about order and glory in a world where chaos and mediocrity seemed the norm. Oh my god, thank you for the clip. Y'all, this is where we're gonna end. Today! Today! Oh, well, I guess I won the race. <laughs>